Hello everybody, this is Jeff at Obedia, here to give you a summary of synthesis and the introduction of my tie and how to program it. So this series is going to be in three parts, discussing the basic areas of a synthesizer, your oscillator, your filter, and your amplifier. So to start off with, what I'm going to do is jump right into my tie, and I'm going to go to the preset window and initialize this patch. So what that just did is take my tie and turn off everything except for the basic functions, the oscillator, the filter, and the amplifier. The first three things that you're going to see in any synthesizer, whether analog or digital. Now the oscillator section has an on and off, and then it has an octave switch normally. And so your octave switch or rotary is going to determine where you're playing on the octave with your keys. So I'm going to play some keys here. And then I'm going to switch the octave. Now with every synthesizer, you might get a variety of shapes and signals or waves that you can choose from. Each with different characteristics. Everything is built upon a sine wave. So when you're using other waves, you're actually using a combination of sine waves to build these waves. So your saw wave is a combination of what we call odd and even harmonics, which gives it that buzzy sound. A triangle wave sounds closer to your sine wave. It only has odd harmonics, but not as much. And then your square wave has only odd harmonics, but just a lot more of them. Okay, so now we have our basic wave shapes, and then we have our octave switching. So what if we wanted to change the key? Well, we can adjust the semitone that we're starting our notes on. If I adjust semi up one, that means every note will be shifted up one note. If we adjust the fine, Every note on your keyboard, whether it's C to C sharp or to C sharp to D, that is still an interval range. That interval range is actually comprised of what we call 100 cents. So just as 12 semitones make an octave, 100 cents make up a semitone. So watch as I set the semi back to normal. I'm going to play this note and I'm going to detune this all the way to 100 cents. we have actually came to another note. So let me show you that with the semitone. We have just played the same note. One way by adjusting a semitone down one, the other by reducing it 100 cents. And this also works in the other direction. The next thing we have is our level and panning. Now this may be different depending on the synthesizer you use, but there will always be some kind of amplification stage for your oscillators. This special synthesizer includes a sub frequency that we can add to the oscillator. So normally your sub frequency is gonna be around two or three octaves below what you're playing, and it can just add some warmth and body to your notes. Now we have spread. Spread takes a combination of pitch changing and detuning so you can hear a distinction between your left and your right instead of your sound being right in the middle. And every synthesizer works with this differently. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to activate oscillator 2 and I'm going to go ahead and show you a trick that you can use in order to get some better synth sounds. One tip in getting a nice full sound is by using a saw wave that has both odd and even harmonics and detuning the synthesizers away from each other like this.
Then I'm going to set them both to a saw wave. And I'm going to pan one to the left and one to the right. Then I'm going to drop this in octave. I'm going to add some sub in both of those. In other words, we're just adding a ton of more sine waves and harmonics into this oscillator setup. Now I'm going to play this for you. Now when we take away this sub, and then we put the detuning back to perfect alignment, So the oscillator section can give you some really nice ideas. So be sure to check out the next video, which is going to cover the filter section. Today's Pro Audio hardware and software can give you excellent results if you know how to use it properly. Obedia can help you to get the most out of your Pro Audio hardware and software. Why spend your time scouring the internet for answers or digging through manuals? With one quick call to an Obedia technician, you'll be connected with someone who can give you the answers that you need in real time via phone and remote desktop. Obedia technicians are trained in all major digital audio applications on Mac, PC, iOS, and Android devices. Obedia member subscriptions are cost effective, give you great member benefits, and Obedia is here seven days a week to help you get the most out of your digital audio hardware and software. No matter what your level of expertise, Obedia can help you to stay focused and productive and get your music back on track. Start taming your technology today with Obedia.